Okay, we're good. Okay, so let me just get situated here. Okay, guys, so welcome to the Start Canada Biz Meeting for November 27th, 2016. If you guys don't know me, maybe you're new here. My name is Morgan. I'm from Port Perry, Ontario, which is about an hour outside of Toronto. Um, I'm just so grateful that all of you guys are here. I have so much gratitude for every single one of you. It just shows your commitment to yourself, to your team, and to this movement. Um, if you don't know what we are, maybe you're tuning into the recording. We are just a group of individuals with a common vision to ignite our young people to own their lives physically and financially. And through our contributions, create freedom and a lasting legacy. How many of you guys can just get so excited about that? <laughs> so these Start Canada calls. Um, we're created to unite all Start Canada associate peeps from across the country. Uh, Tina, as you were telling before, before we stuck ourselves into record mode, we just saw a vision for Start Canada and Start Globally is growing so massively, but we wanted a way to connect all of the young people in Canada specifically. So we created a Start Canada committee, which is really cool. There's representatives from every province and territory, so we can really know what's going on in Start all over Canada, plug in together so you never feel like you're doing this alone. Um, and we just get together to provide you guys with tools, support, coaching, inspiration to get your belief a 10 out of 10 in all areas so you feel unstoppable in sharing this amazing gift. And just so you know, these calls are for you guys. So we want this to be an opportunity for each of you to grow. Um, maybe you want to jump on a call and share your testimony, share a story, or do a training piece. We created this, these calls so that you guys can have an opportunity and a tool to plug in and grow. So contact anyone that's in the Start Canada committee, myself or team, we would love to help you guys coach you and you know help you guys grow. So moving into the call, we do have a little bit of a disclaimer if you guys are maybe tuning into the recording. We are just a part of a really phenomenal health and wellness company. Uh, we make no claims to diagnose, prevent, treat, or cure any disease or illnesses. You may also hear some income opportunities opportunity. Um, please know that we don't make any claims um, for what people earn. I personally love that I'm a part of something that the amount of effort I put in is related to what I get out. Um, I'm going to invite all of you guys to use the chat, show your support, ask questions. I'm going to open up the end of the call if you have any um, actual questions for Audrey or James. Uh, so maybe just write them down, save them for them. And if you haven't been on these calls before, they are all recorded on the Start Canada YouTube page. Uh, they happen every Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and they're usually broken down into three separate sections. So we have something called the Starter in the Spotlight, where we try to find a dynamic starter from somewhere in Canada that can share their story, because we all know that we are just storytellers. Every story that we know, we can plug away and possibly help someone with it later. We also have a PG portion, which is just a small five-minute portion that talks about a personal growth tool that somebody found really powerful that given week. And then we have a larger training portion, but this week we've put together the entire 45 minutes for our trainers because you guys literally blew up my Facebook and the Start Canada um, page with all of your questions for these guys. So I know that we are going to use up this entire hour. Um, I have an entire page of your questions here and I would love if you guys could, you know, keep in mind anything that you guys want to share as well. Um, get your pens and pads out. I am so excited to introduce these guys. It was um, supposed to be just Audrey, so I just have her introduction. James, maybe you could share well, yours. We're later. married. It's the same. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, they are both Start movement, uh, movement Ambassadors. They are both Start 1000s, and they are the number one income earners worldwide for the ages of 18 to 25. So let's give these guys a big welcome. I would love if you guys started off with your story. So what this movement means to you, where you were before, and where you are now. Well, thanks so much for asking us to be on this call. We love Isogenics, and we love Start. And... Um, our journey, we met in Isogenics and fell in love. So if you're single, this is a great way to meet your future spouse. <laughs> um, <laughs> side note, let me just intertwine that in real quick. Um, we are so grateful to be on this call with all of y'all tonight. We love this movement and our whole entire hearts and lives are really just to want to give love and life and service to so many people. And so um, I'll begin because um, it started with me first and then James came in shortly afterwards. But I began Isogenics when I was 22 years old. Um, I actually was a nanny for Herb and Patty Cepeda. Um, Herb and Patty Cepeda, if you don't know them, they're the number one income earners worldwide in 
all of isogenic and the Lord really put us together. I was looking for a job. I was uh, looking for a job as a hairstylist and I couldn't find one. And I prayed and I asked God to give me a job. And before I could say amen, my phone ended up ringing and it ended up being Patty Cepeda. And she asked me if I could be her nanny. She got my name from the ministry school that I was going to that was affiliated with the church that they went to. And she was like, hey, can you do it? And I said, yes. And I didn't know anything. I did not know who they were. I had never heard of Isogenics. I had never even heard of network marketing. I did not know that an opportunity like this existed prior to Herb and Patty Cepeda. Um, so what happened was, was I drove up to their house. I was 19 at this time and I became their nanny and told them no for two years. I said no to isogenics. I was not about it. I did not want to put the products in my body. I did not want anything to do with it. And I got fat. I gained 35 pounds. I'm just being real. That's what happened. I was not taking care of my health. I was eating really bad foods. And so I gained 35 pounds and I came back to them and I said, okay, I want to do this, but I'm not going to tell anyone about it. And I was serious. I didn't want to tell anyone about isogenics. And so um, within days, the severe discomfort in my head was gone. My pants started to sag. I lost 35 pounds in six weeks and felt amazing. And I felt such a conviction. I felt such a conviction in my heart after four days that God had put this in my life and that the world needed to hear about it and that I was going to set thousands and thousands of people free through the vehicle of health and wellness. And it started to burn inside of me. So at this point, I was 22. I'm, we're 25 years old now. My birthday's on Wednesday, so I'm about to be 26. But... Um, so at 22, it started to really, this, this movement, um, really in Knoxville, Tennessee, which is where I'm from, I had this vision to, to create this massive movement in my city. And it began, and I began to tell everyone I knew about isogenics. And slowly but surely, people started to catch wind, and our events began to grow tremendously, and everybody's income began to explode. And um, seven months down the road, I was asked to get on a three-way phone call with this cute little girl named Allie McLeod. So I got on this phone call, and Allie is my now sister-in-law, um, and she was, I was just telling her about isogenics, and she tried isogenics, and within four days, she was like, you need to come to my college campus you need to tell my friends about this. So I drove to the college campus and the place where we held our opportunity overview was James's house. Um, and he will let him share his story, but we did not start dating at that point. We were strictly business partners. I was not in the, in that mode. I was at all. in the friend zone. He was in the so friend hard. zone. And so we were just business partners for a long time. So we actually built, he was Kenny, he was friend zone. Um, but I built my business center and he built his business center. And we have two very successful business centers now because of it. Um, but when he got started, I'll let you share your story and then we can get to the questions. Yeah. So when I, when I first got introduced to it, um, you loved me from the start. well, that's not <laughs> quite how the story goes. Um, but I warmed up to her really quickly. Uh, so I really, I, I'd heard a little bit about um, really multi-level marketing. I didn't know there was a difference between multi-level marketing and, and network marketing and the distinctions that I know now and how profound they are. But I had heard of stuff like this and really honestly, I just, I kind of, I kind of thought it was a joke. I thought it was a pipe dream that people were just trying to, you know, pitch at me and didn't take it seriously. So when my little sister came to me with this, I was just totally turned off. Um, and it was my little sister, again, emphasize the little part. I thought I knew better. I was always right because I'm the older brother. And I'm like, hey, I've lived more life than you. I get it. You know, I know you think you found something really special, but you didn't. Um, sorry to kind of pop your bubble there. And she was like, no, no, no. I think this is really different. I think this is something that is actually going to change my and potentially our life, our family's life. And I was like, okay, well, you do it. I'm not really going to take part in it. Long story short, I got the I got the information. I really got to see, you know, 
um, odds, passion, and everything come through. And I knew there was a 30-day money-back guarantee. That was the number one thing that I heard from that. And I was like, okay, I have 30 days to try this out. Sweet. I, you know, the company really does a very good job of, of putting their money where their mouth is and, and saying, hey, if you don't like this product, we'll take them back and we'll give you all the money back. So I was like, sweet, I'll try it. Um, it was a couple months later that I didn't do anything with the business. I didn't, I didn't really catch fire. And, it, and this is a phrase that a lot of people uh, say and are, and are saying it's not so much when you get into isogenics, but when isogenics gets into you. And so I had been taking the products really this time three years ago is when I really started taking the products through the holiday season. I was like, I'm not going to share this with anybody. I don't even get this business model. I don't even know if it'll work. And then my first event was New Year's kickoff 2014. And I got exposed to the culture. I got exposed to the corporate side of it. And I was blown away absolutely floored. I saw so much integrity, so much love, so much warmth. As all of you guys know who have been to a big event, it's a family. It really is. It's something special. And I got to see that firsthand from my own, with my own eyes. And so I looked at Allie and I was like, okay, we're going to do this and we're going to do it really big. So we went home and started building it. And, um, you know, then long story short, we, we fell in love and it was, it's, it's just a blast now to get to be able to do this together. And honestly, we at collectively now, because I started before he did obviously, but we've been in isogenics now for four years, going into four years of building this business. We are going to bring home a quarter of a million dollars this year residually. And we're 25 years old and guys that isn't, thank you. But that isn't to say, Hey, look at what we've done. I want you to know that it is possible for for you to achieve anything that you want to achieve in isogenics. I was not accepted into college. That wasn't something my academic scores were not extremely high. I wasn't accepted into college, but I saw this mod model and I saw this vision and I saw this business and I saw the community and we saw what was possible and we worked hard. And as a result, we have an amazing team of like-minded people who are making money as well. And, and so we are so grateful and our hearts in really sharing that with you is I want you to have everything that you've ever dreamed of. I want you to, to really see those cycles and envision those cycles and the clicking of the numbers going up, 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 because you have the opportunity to do it. And if you have your vision, and you plug into the system and you stay consistent, there will be absolutely nothing that you cannot achieve with isogenics. So that's a little bit of our story. That was so wonderful and so powerful. What I love about you guys is that was so intense. I feel like I'm sitting on the couch, like across from you guys. Like it was so authentic. Like oh, <laughs> it was wonderful. <laughs> I have to start off with one of my questions that I got. If I said her name, she would probably die, but I'm going to read it word for word. And she said, what is it like building an empire together as a newly married couple? And she wants to know where she can find a pre-qualified version of James. No, he's <laughs> um, it has been transitional in the best way. So um, to have really candor conversation with you, we were really used to having independent, empowered businesses on our own. Um, so I was used to Audrey Moss and doing things my way and having it here. And he's a man and he's like James McLeod and super successful business as well. Um, but when we got married, marriage is legitimately the greatest gift from God ever. Every part of our life has enhanced since we said I do on July 16th. And I mean that wholeheartedly. So if you want marriage, wait for it, wait for the right person because it is worth being patient and it is worth waiting for because when you find God's person for your life, there's nothing that compares to it. So when we got married and we started building this together, truthfully, it has been easy and it has been fun and it has been, um, we're learning the ins and the outs of what our strengths are and really capitalizing on those. And as far as finding another James, um, pray, I prayed for him and my eyes were open when it was the right time. He's wonderful. And whoever you are, whoever wrote that, you have your perfect man for you too, I promise. And I would say to add to that, I mean, building 
building as a couple and, and, you know, you'll hear different people say different things about working as a married couple, how it can be stressful and how it can be, you know, oh, you spend so much time together and whatnot. But um, I married my best friend and I, I would much rather, you know, build something with my best friend that's going to, that's going to further, you know, our lives collectively, not necessarily build my life with a bunch of colleagues at work, um, while I'm, you know, spending the majority of my waking hours away from the person that I just committed my whole entire life to. So, you know, doing this as a couple, doing this together, you guys, I believe, I believe that waking up, you know, at the crack of dawn and seeing your best friend go one way and you go another way and spending eight, nine, 10 hours in two different places, doing two different things with two different, you know, physical stresses, mental stresses, emotional stresses, then to come back home, try and have, you know, a meal together and unwrap everything that happened that day while staying in communication and being in love. I think that is hard. I don't think doing network marketing together is hard. I think building a dream together is easy. I think it's fun. I think it comes with challenges, just like any other thing you embark on in life. But I do not think it is hard. And it's as hard. And, and what he said is, is if it is hard, it's hard only because you choose it to be hard. Everything in life is a choice. And your perspective on how you view your business will become your reality hear that your perspective on your business whether you are single or whether you are married will become your reality if you view isogenics as hard the 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 conversations that you have will be challenging if you view isogenics as easy as a way to create uh, your ideal life then everything that comes after from that point connecting duplicating it will be easy because you will not be functioning from this place of challenge you'll be functioning from a place of vision you'll be functioning from a place of ease but that all stems from the way that you choose to see isogenics and the way that you choose to build your business and we choose i mean we choose every day i choose love i choose joy i choose happiness and i choose fun. And those really are like the core foundation of how we build our business. We, we have all of those things and that cultivates, um, freedom and it cultivates simplicity. That was awesome. Thank you guys. And to find a pre-qualified okay. lead, I have four sisters. And so if you, if you're, if you're talking to a guy who has a lot of sisters and is the only boy, you know, you might, you might be in luck. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> There is, um, there is an ISIS singles page. You guys probably don't know that, but it's a scary place. Don't, don't look for people on there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go, go build your empire and your, and your man attract. and your woman will, attract, yes. will be attracted to you. I love that. Okay, guys. So there was a lot of questions about verbiage. So just people not really knowing exactly what to say. So there was one question saying, how do you cast the start vision and what verbiage and what words do you, you guys use? That's really great. Um, that's a great question. I think the best way to cast a vision is to ask questions. So a lot of times we'll be like, Hey, we see the star vision for what it is. And so we think that other people want to have the same things that we want to have. And that's not necessarily true. If you're talking to a mom who works 60 hours a week, who has two children, her vision is going to be completely different than two 25 year olds who just want to travel the world. So if you want to cast the vision of start or cast the vision of isogenics in general, asking questions is going to be your starting point. If you ask questions, what is it that makes your heart come alive? If time and money wasn't an issue, what would you be doing with your life? What if you could wake up every day in the healthiest body with an, with an income in your bank account that would allow you to do anything that you wanted? How would that make you feel? Once you answer those specific questions or questions about just getting to know them, isogenics is just the insert. The start your life movement is just the insert to what those questions actually are. So when you know what those questions are, for example, if I'm talking to a beautiful woman who wants to stay at home with her two children 
and I find out that that's what the desire of her heart is, then what I say is, is I say, what if I told you that there was an opportunity for you to have all of that and so much more? Would you be interested in hearing more about it? Boom. Less is always more. I used to word vomit on everyone. I used to get on calls and 30 minutes later, I was like, Ooh, oh, I finally took a breath. No, when you ask questions and you get to what it is that makes their heart come alive, then you insert what isogenics can be for them and they will be open to hearing more because you've now just built that connection, that one-on-one -on -one connection of trust that you actually care about what it is that they want to see happen in their life. And when you do that, they will be open to hearing what you have to say and they'll be open for you to even explain what isogenics and what the start movement is all about. Well, and you know, to piggyback on that, um, a lot of times, like she was saying, I would, I would talk to people and I would tell them what I thought they wanted to hear. You know, all, all young people want to travel, all young people want to see the world. However true that might be, it's really not true for everybody. And so, although I think, you know, I think that person might want to hear about traveling or I want that person to want to travel. That might not be it. And it might not be, you know, either to, to stay at home all day with their kids. Cause you got to take the other end of the spectrum where you have these stay at home moms that spend every waking hour with their kids. And all they want is a couple of days or a day off where they can hire a babysitter or hire a nanny and go shopping and just go, just pamper themselves. Sarah, that's you. So, the, so the, the whole key of that comes down to listening, comes down to asking questions and you know, I mean, yeah, you're, you're going to be heard. You're going to be listened to. You're going to be respected when you go out of your way to really let that person talk and un, unfold their heart and their life to you. Then you're going to be able to say, hey, listen, like, I understand that, you know, if you're going to be like, imagine just being home all day with your kids. They're going to be like, oh, my gosh, I don't want to be home all day with my kids. I already am. Like, that doesn't sound appealing. Um, so just, just listen, <laughs> listen, listen, listen. That's all I can say. And, and then insert, insert. Yeah. and then insert. Isogenics is freedom. Okay. Everyone is searching for more freedom, whether that's physical, whether that's financial, whether that's time, emotional, spiritual, everyone is searching for more freedom. So if you can get to the pinpoint, if you can pinpoint what it is that they want, all of that leads to more freedom which is where you can insert what isogenics can be for them. I love it. So wonderful. Thank you guys. I'm going to piggyback off that question. Um, this is a question from Tarona Mills and um, Audrey, I know you've built a lot of your business with college students and she asked, um, how do you approach uni or college students with budgets or set meal plans that are already built into their tuition? Uh, so basically money objections from people that are in college. That's a really great question. I'm actually going to allow James to answer this because he started building his business when he was a full-time college student and he had all college students because he was on campus. I did build with that, but I'm going to let him because he actually like walked through the college um, aspect. I was so in college and so built this. Uh, <laughs> I get the meal plan question. Um, you know, honestly, and this, and this goes all across the board whether you're an 18 year old, whether you're a 55 year old, there are going to be people that have a price objection. And when I hear, and this is something that I've grown into, but when I hear a price objection, what I tell myself in my head is, okay, I haven't expressed the value of what they're getting enough. Okay. And so if somebody goes, you know, cause the majority of people that, that, that we set up come in with the value pack or the president's pack. That's just, you know, across the board, that's what's statistically proven to be the best pack to start with. They have the best results. They have the highest retention. And, you know, what I tell them at the end is you're going to get your products for free or you're going to get your products for free. Like you're going to send them back or we're going to help you get them paid for it, either one. But if somebody at the end of the day is like, oh my goodness, $600, that's, that's way too expensive. I tell myself, okay, how can I better share what the value is of what they're actually getting? Because everybody's going to be able to have their, their, you know, objection when it comes to price. Well, I have, you know, if you're talking to a mom, well, I have four mouths to feed at home. My grocery budget won't, you know, 
be able to afford that or whatever. And so, you know, when it comes to college students, um, it can be tricky because um, a lot of them have help uh, from their parents or from scholarships. And so that can, that can sometimes deter uh, the enrollment. But if it is something where their parents are, are either paying for their, um, their meal plans or something like that, get on the phone with their parents. Don't be afraid of that. If you're, if you're uh, you know, in your early 20s or mid 20s, you guys, do not be afraid to get on the phone with somebody who's 30, 40, 50, 60 years old to explain to them what we have. Age doesn't matter with this. Like it was said earlier, everybody has the exact same opportunity and really their parents could use this, you know, just as much, if not even more, because they're even farther along in the aging process than we are. And so I got on the phone with a lot of parents. Um, and I also, uh, broke down with them their own personal budgets. One thing that I've learned about college students and about myself, even when I was in college, I didn't know where my money was going. I just spent it. And I spent it on things that like I cared most about. So I told somebody that I couldn't afford, you know, the 30 day system, but I dropped $120 at the bar last night and I'm probably going to do the same thing next weekend. Right? So like having that conversation of being like, okay, you know, when they're like, you know, well, how much is it? Like, okay, well, how about, let's back up a little bit. Let's break down kind of what your daily expenses look like. Is that all right? Just so we can kind of see what would be best for you. And then you figure out, you know, what they're, what they're eating, what they're not eating. Okay. You know, what really does your weekend tab look like um, when you're going out? How many football game tickets are you buying? You know, if you're saying you can't afford this, but you just spent $300 to, you know, a UT game ticket or a UT game, like, you know, you have the money, you're just choosing to put it somewhere else. And that's something to, to help them come to the, the realization with that it might not be their right time right then, but they certainly do have the money for it. Does that make sense? And also just remember, like, you cannot say the wrong thing to the right person and you can't say the right thing to the wrong person. How many day, times are you showing the plan every day? I am so big on showing people the compensation plan. I do not go to a one-on-one -on -one meeting or I do not talk to people without showing them the compensation plan. A lot of the reason why people say no is because they don't know how simple it is to actually get your products paid for or to make an extra income. When I started building in the beginning with college students, the reason they all jumped on board was because of the compensation plan and because of the vision. I'm just being honest. They didn't come in for the products. They didn't really necessarily care about it being organic and healthy and no GMOs and all that stuff. They were like travel, income, money, culture, freedom. None of them had ever heard what residual income was before. So I showed the compensation plan and I tell people, and we teach and coach our team. If you do not feel confident and with a show of hands, who feels 100% confident to go to a one-on-one -on -one meeting and show the compensation plan. Just for a show of hands. Seriously, y'all are awesome. If you, if your hands are not raised, go Scott. If your hands aren't raised or if you are on this phone call and you do not know how to show the compensation plan, pull it up online and write out the compensation plan and learn the compensation plan. I can promise you 100%, if you can learn the compensation plan and show the comp plan, your business will begin to grow more exponentially by you, in, in, by, by you starting to do this in your daily activity. It will change everything. And so for me, that's what I did. I 100% was like, comp plan, comp plan, comp plan, culture, comp plan, culture, comp plan, done. I love it. Guys, if you guys are unsure about the comp plan, Audrey, you did a phenomenal video doing almost like a start. Like, it's exciting. The verbiage was like, not like wah, wah, like those videos that kind of put me to sleep. So yeah. like, I'm sure you, you guys could just YouTube it. Like Audrey did a phenomenal, just going through the comp plan. They're in US numbers, but just switch the numbers, your energy, just your wording was so perfect. So, okay, and I just want to say that, sorry, I didn't mean to hit you. I just wanted to say that if you do look at the comp plan, it is super exciting, but I'll say, <laughs> I'll say, the way that it is explained, our team explains it the exact same way with the same verbiage, which makes it so easy 
for somebody who's 56 years old or somebody who's 18 years old to maneuver and to be able to like comprehend and actually absorb it so that they can say it the exact same way. So if it's too much for you, which it can be, it's a lot. Okay. I know that it's a lot, but if it is too much for you, just continue to like learn it anyways. And then it'll be, no, there's still one up there. They made me take mine down that I uploaded, but there's still one up there. Of yours? Yeah. Okay. So. Um, and to, to add to that, um, the, the verbiage is great. The words that you use is great, but I've learned, um, that it's not so much what you say, it's the spirit and the essence in which you say it. So if you're like, if you enroll two value packs, you're going to get $160 from here and $160 from here. Isn't that exciting? Doesn't that excite you? Like that's, you know, that's not necessarily exciting to anybody, but if you're like, listen, who do you know? Who are two people that you know would either like to feel better within, you know, a week or two or would like to, you know, be able to make an extra income on the side of what they're doing while they're making, you know, while they're taking classes. Okay. If you help two, if we help two of your friends get started this week, 70 bucks, just like that. Like it's over half of your products paid for. How is, how exciting is that? There's a totally different like spirit to it. It engages them. It shows them that you are really excited and really convicted about what you're talking about. Does that make sense? So like saying it with that enthusiasm and letting that enthusiasm It's come everything. Out. I'm telling you, you can fumble and mumble and spit over yourself, but if you're passionate about isogenics, people will enroll because they want to be a part of something that's exciting and passion shows that you know who you are and where you're going. So I want to answer this question real quick because it was really good. Do you... Charlotte Kingston said, do you show the compensation plan to every prospect interested in the business? 100% yes. And they never find themselves being overwhelmed. And the reason they don't find themselves ever being overwhelmed is because I explain it very simply and I slow down when I talk. So I'm never rushing I ask them questions in between. I make it more flowy than just like me sitting there for 15 minutes and showing them the compensation plan. Um, so I wanted to answer that question because it just popped up on the group chat. What kid was there another? Oh, there's another question up here from Scott. What percentage of your new associates are coming in for product versus business roughly? Honestly, we have, Honestly, I would say the majority of people that we enroll are coming in for the business. Um, and the reason that I say that is because that's really what we, we talk the most about. Um, we talk about the product and we love our product users. We love our product users. Um, and I know that 80% of the people in Isogenics are product users and only 20% build the business. However, we talk so much about the business and so much about freedom. And if you follow us on social media, like that's what we exude. We exude freedom and traveling and like the, the vision of designing your life. So the majority of the people that enroll with us are people who want that lifestyle as well. And I'll say this, um, you won't have a business if you don't talk about a business. You won't. You will have a storefront that you have people buying products and then you know, stopping and then buying products and then stopping, but you, you won't have a business if you don't talk about a business. And that's why we, and that's why, and that's why we bring in more business people is because you know, the majority of people, you know, for, for a lot of people, it does take time. They'll use the products for a couple months or a couple weeks. And they're like, Whoa, these are legit. I know my whole family would love this. Other people see it right away. And, um, and, and, and just want to go, go out of the gates right from the get go. So yeah. we, but you do need to talk about the business. I would be, I always think to myself, you know, what if somebody would have just told me about this, this product line, but never would have actually told me about the opportunity because maybe they discounted me because of my mindset. Like these people deserve to know that there is an opportunity and we can't discredit anybody for where they're at. Let them decide if the business is for them or not. Yeah. Um, but it, I find it my responsibility to at least let them know, Hey, this is what's available to you if you want it. What is your guys's protocol when you first enroll someone? What steps do you usually take? I first um, send them a welcome email, just kind of walking them through their first 30 days. That really helps me 
um, and it helps them have something to access if I'm not available with information on products, tools, resources, going to isogenicshealth.net, going to, you know, different resources where they can pull up products that answer just kind of your general basic questions. Um, then I go from there, plug them into, we have a couple of different team pages, really just one uh, particular that's a product page. If they're interested in the business, we have another business specific page. Um, and on Facebook, on Facebook, sorry. And then, uh, and then really once their box arrives, I walk every single person through their box. I got, I got a guy starting tomorrow. I just got off the phone with him for 30 or 40 minutes and I just answered his questions. Guys, people really, we need to help people feel confident about their systems. Tell me, getting something like the value pack. If you've never ordered a system like this before, it's a lot of product. And people see it at first and they're like, well, that's a lot of money. And then it comes in the mail and they're like, that's a lot of product. And you're like, yeah, I know. And they don't have a clue. He's like, I don't see Ionic Supreme in here. I don't even have it. And I was like, do you see the red cap? He's like, oh, there it is. And like, you know, people just need help going through this. And so I love to really go the extra mile and make sure people feel confident. People feel, you know, um, easy at this because it's not about enrolling. Isogenics is not about enrolling. It's about retaining. It's about showing people that this is about longevity. This is about a long-term health. It's not just enough if you're enrolling 20 people a month and 20 people are, you know, canceling their auto ship 30 days from now. It's about enrolling five people and 12 months down the road, those five people are still using, loving, and, and, and ordering more product. Does that Guys, make sense? and I'll say, like, he's been such an example for me because I am, like, business all day, every day. I'll do a coaching call. I'll do a training call. Let me show you how to do this. Let me teach you the compensation plan. Like doing product calls like this are not exciting for me. Like, it's not like I'm like, yes, I get to get on a 35 minute product call to show them their products. I'm like, this is just oh, us being really, really, yeah, this is me. I'm going to be honest because I want you guys to know that the things that you go through leaders go through. And, and so, um, so this has, this has been something that I have grown in and I've gotten more excited about product calls because I look at, okay, this product call and walking this person through their box means that when I'm loving them and coaching them, I'm building trust with them, which means next month they're going to trust me to continue them on this track. And so we spend that time and I'll tell you, there has been a difference since I personally have been more intentional with taking care of my product users and understanding that not every single person wants to make a six figure income in isogenics. Not every single person wants to become an isogenics millionaire, but that person who does want to have a good product experience can very well in 30 to 60 days become someone that wants to make a six figure income in isogenics. But if we don't give them everything that we've got to ensure that they're having a good product experience, then we're not doing our job as their enrolling sponsors. That's awesome. I know you guys travel a lot and you're always bebopping around. How do you best find a way to stay organized as your team grows? Organization. Um, okay. I'm going to be honest. Like we, I, we have whiteboards. We have whiteboards all right here. Sure. Um, we'll show you our whiteboards. So we have whiteboards and we, I have a couple different lists and I do want y'all to know that we have five more minutes because we have to get on another zoom call at nine Eastern. So I just want to like, let you guys know that. Um, but we have a couple different lists and these lists have been amazing and they're lists that I just use paper and pen. Like I don't have Excel spreadsheets. I'm not that technical if all of you guys are awesome keep doing what you're doing you can do you can do this on excel spread if you want to but i have four different lists one list is my prospect list and that is a list that i will continue to add on to i have i have dates next to their name of when i connected with them and when i follow up with them um, i have another list for my product users so that i know who they are when i need to connect with them when their auto ship is coming up I have one list for every person who I've personally enrolled who wants to build the business. This is important because I need to connect with them every week and ask them what their goals are so that I know what I can best do to support them and coach them and train them. And then my fourth list is every person in my downline 
who wants to build the business. This means inside crevices. This means um, people who I didn't personally enroll, but if they're below me and they want to build the business, then I'm going to treat them as if I personally enrolled them. I don't care if they're 7,000 people below me. You're still going to get that treatment. So as far as organization goes, I keep it really, really simple um, with those lists, and those lists continue to grow, and they continue – they, they, but they're always the same. Like that's how I keep it. I don't do anything like overboard because just like Kenny said, simplicity is key. And that's what we, that's what we do. Find what's best for you, whether it's on your computer, on your phone, on a whiteboard. Um, the thing about whiteboards is you can erase it. So it can kind of make it difficult because I like having it hard where you can't erase it and you can always have that master list to kind of go back to, but find what's best for you. This isn't necessarily about reinventing the wheel, but simplicity is key. So, yeah. Okay, Ken. So, I know you guys have to run. I would love to know one piece of closing advice you guys would give to any starter that's wanting to build this business. And then also your favorite tool to use. So, maybe your favorite book, podcast, trainer, just each of your favorite. Okay. My favorite tool for building the business? Is that what or, Yeah, or a book that was just gave you an aha moment, something that someone could take home and look at a resource. Okay, perfect. Okay, so the advice that I would give to you is don't quit. I know that that sounds so like, okay, Audrey, don't quit. But don't quit. Make a decision in your mind, if you haven't already, that you are going to have success. Because when you make that decision, you're making that decision for thousands of people who are going to come after you, for the, the millions of people that you are going to impact. And then when you make a decision that you're not going to quit, it gives you authority to speak life into the people who are going to come on your team and they're going to tell you, I don't think I can do this. I want to quit. I want to throw in the towel. I wanted to quit. 15 to 20 different times in my isogenics business. There were times when I was making over a hundred thousand dollars a year and I still wanted to quit. Can you believe that? It, it, it still happens. But when you make a decision that you're not going to quit and you stand on that decision and you don't move from a place of emotion, you move from your vision, you move from the knowledge of knowing where you're going, you will lead others down that path. So my advice to you, and the greatest advice that anyone ever gave me was Herb Cepeda, when he called me on the phone and I wanted to quit. And he said, Audrey, if you quit now, you'll go back to your job and you're gonna end up building someone's dreams for the rest of your life. But if you do, not quit. And if you make a decision, anything is possible. So that would be my best advice to you that you, we have the greatest community and culture of people that in that the world has ever seen. We're so life giving, so happy. So we celebrate each other and genuinely mean it. It isn't a false celebration. It's like, I genuinely want to see every person on this line succeed. So if you make a decision to go for it, don't let any negative emotions sway you. And my tool, my best tool would probably be, it's super simple, I'm sure everyone's read it, but you need to reread GoPro. Because if you want to build a network marketing business and you want to have amazing success, that book was the foundation of it all for me. So. That's what I got to say about that. Wow, fired up after that. Man, I don't feel like quitting anymore. <laughs> um, I think for me, um, my greatest piece of advice would be to stay plugged in. When you feel like quitting, when you feel like giving up, take a step back and see if you're actually engaging into the culture, if you're engaging into the community. You can't get mad at a light bulb for not being on when you've unplugged it from the wall. If you're not feeling fired up, if you're not feeling enthusiastic, if you've lost your conviction for either these product lines or, or this compensation plan, put good in your brain. Get on the podcast, get on whatever you know coaching calls or calls like this you have. There's so there's such an abundance of resources out there that Isogenics has provided us from 
you know, PDFs, if you're somebody who likes to read, to videos, to audibles, I mean, all this stuff, it's amazing, but stay plugged in because when you're plugged in, this stuff just becomes a part of you to where now this whole business of isogenics is just a habit. It's as much a part of my lifestyle as drinking the shakes or eating any other food. It's, it's become a habit where I really do want to share this with people. I do want to help people. And I've made it so much a part of my life that it's not an inconvenience. And like Odd was saying, it's not an option of whether I'm going to be around or not. Listen, if you're not for sure in your mind, if you're going to be around in 12 months, no, you can't expect anybody on your team to be for sure if they're going to be around in 12 months. You've got to make a decision. You've got to, you've got to leave this phone call and leave tonight with the decision that you and you alone make for yourself, that you're going to be here no matter what. No matter what, no matter if your enrolling sponsors quits, no matter if everybody in your downline quits, that you still see the reality of what this is from a nutritional standpoint and an opportunity standpoint. That's what I would say. Stay plugged in, stay engaged. Every single day, do something in your business and do something in yourself that's going to better you. And as it pertains to this business, that's going to enhance either your mind or your, your conviction and belief with this business. And as far as a book and a resource goes, I would say The Go-Giver. Have you guys read that one? Okay, so The Go-Giver is amazing. Also, I would, I would say, I mean, absolutely read that. That is a huge one. Have you guys read uh, How to Win Friends and Influence People? Okay, no, if you I haven't, like, you need if to you tell haven't, what books we need if you to haven't read. read both of those books, <laughs> listen, you can go and read a ton of books. There's a lot of self help books and self development books. Those are probably two of the most impactful books I've ever read when it comes to relating with people and adding value. This isn't about getting people. This is about offering people solutions, and that's when we can stay in that mindset. Um, it's 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 something that. You know, if, you ha if you've heard about these books and you still haven't read them, you might do yourself a favor and just go ahead and <laughs> just check it off the list and read it. You'll be better and your business will be better for it. Wonderful. Thank you, guys. I know you have to run. So all of you guys that have your screen turned off, I'd love if you could show your pretty faces and we can take a quick screenshot so these guys can run to their other call.